Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and as you can see, I found another one of these fucking things. Oh! Ho! 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 Not good, not good! Holy fuck, not good, not good. Yeah, I'm gonna need this thing that gives me some haste. Um... I need... Just fucking eat the... Just, holy fuck! That was a horrible opening. So I found this... Will you? Will you? Oh, this is not gonna end up good. I found this thing. This fucking Stone Talos, who is apparently way the fuck stronger than the, the one that I fought last time. Dude, dude, let me let me get up on you, girl. Come on. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck, Link? Holy whoa, 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 whoa. Where am I? Link, climb. Like, Jesus. Okay, so this is a weird start to the episode. I, I agree. I know, I know. I'm 100% aware of this. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, ah! Kill it, kill it, kill it! Fuck yeah! Holy fuck! And that was not a weird start to the episode. That was a fucking awesome start to the episode. So I was exploring. I was getting close to, to Hateno. And I saw a fucking stone Talos. And I was like, alright. Well, not I saw. I came here and then it like started to come up out of the ground. I was like, okay. You know what? Why don't, why don't we fucking start it here? So, I've done some exploring, not a whole lot, I haven't done that much, and yeah, that was actually a fucking solid start to an episode. Ah, uh, that hurt me more than it hurt you, eh? Oh, horse, I'm sorry, horse, wow, he went far, you fucking piece of shit. Alright guys, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get to the tower and get to where I actually intended to start this episode. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're at the tower. This one appears to have thorns. All up in its biznatch. So, whoa, okay. Okay, I thought I was jumping to my death there. This one's got a lot of thorns. Oh, oh. Is that, uh... Oh, that's the shrine I already... Yeah, I saw the Hateno village. Oh, there's a shrine. I saw the village in the distance. So I put a... Uh, come on, control stick. You can tell I haven't, uh... Been playing a lot recently. When I play the game, um, like on my own, I um, I tend to just get out of there. I tend to just play on the gamepad. I don't, <laughs> I don't like use the pro controller and shit. So you can tell that it's been a while. But yeah, so this it's been a while since I've done a tower. Oh, there's thorns up the tower, eh? That makes things harder than they need to be. I gotta say, uh, out of everything in this game, this this climbing shit is is kind of a problem for me. Like, out of it's really boring. <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know how else to to put it. Like, you do so much of this climbing the towers, and it's just, it's not interesting. I wish like there was a way to maybe streamline this or make it a little better. No, and that's actually something that I've had. A few people ask me, like, so, like, you know, in your video, you seem to be having a good time with the game, yada yada, but what do you really think? What are you, what, what is your actual opinion on this game? Like, like, I'm faking it in the video. I'm not. Like, I, I, I like this game a lot. I'm having a really good time. But there are definitely aspects of this game that are not so great. This climbing mechanic that is, for some reason, such a fucking integral part of the game, I would have to say is probably one of them. And, you know, for all the pra- Wow, Link looks good and strange. For all the praise this game gets, I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about the flaws. And it's like, there are some, like, there are some flaws with this game. So maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it is actually worth it to kind of maybe go into them a little bit. Maybe it's just because I'm like in the middle of one of them, but I'd say like there's a lot of parts like this, which are like unnecessarily long bits of just the same thing. It's not challenging. It's not particularly interesting. And that's at odds with a lot of the game, which is challenging and is interesting. But like the bits like here where I'm climbing a tower, like that took like five minutes. Maybe less, but it certainly felt like it took like five minutes. Like I was filling a lot of air with my voice. I don't know, there's there's bits like that. 
So, I've talked a lot about what I like about this game, so why don't we have a downer episode? <laughs> why don't why don't I actually like talk a little bit about like what I don't think is so great? Like the bits like that for sure. I've said it before, but like the stamina wheel for me I don't know. I'll, at least you can increase it and maybe at a certain point I'll have like 10 stamina wheels and it like won't be a big deal. But especially in the early game, I find it's just like stopping me from enjoying the game, stopping me from doing the things I want to do, stopping me from playing the game. I don't feel like that's a good mechanic. I feel like in Skyrim, they did have stamina, stamina bars and all that. That filled in quite a bit too. Like that was a thing in it, but I feel like it was just, it was better implemented. Maybe, maybe it's just me, but I feel like somehow it, it felt a little bit better in Skyrim, like the stamina wheel. I don't find it's... What is down there? I always click to crouch instead of the fucking zoom. Oh, that's a Bacoblin base. Alright, why don't I, why don't I chat while I wipe out some fucking Bacoblins? Oh, that's far, actually. And I'm going in the wrong direction to... Get to Hateno, but you know what? We'll get there. We'll get there in this episode. We'll get there. We'll get to Hateno. But uh, oh, those aren't just fucking regular Bacoblins. Those are the big fuckers. I am so high up. I fucking really kind of regret this. So yeah, like I like I was saying, there's a lot of kind of boring parts that I wish you could like streamline. But that you just kind of can't. There's the stamina bar. What else? I also, I feel like the difficulty of the game. I like that it's challenging. I like that the battles you have to kind of plan out what you're going to do. And you don't just rush in, swing in like I do a lot of the times. Because I'm talking and it's hard to kind of be strategic when you're talking. But, um, like when I was exploring to try and find that extra shrine. I went into like an area that obviously I wasn't intended to be in yet. But it let me go there, and then, like, everything was so fucking, like, tough. Like, I don't know, I feel like I would rather you block off an area than, like, let me in, but have it be, like, fucking impossible, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know, not necess- Okay. They just did that shit again. Okay, um... I don't know, I feel like just making things ridiculously hard is kind of just not like the best way to design your game and to block off areas. Maybe, maybe like that's, maybe you disagree, but just like the level of difficulty, like I got to a place where I couldn't really escape without going through all these like monsters, but the monsters literally one hit KO'd me with five hearts and like the, the decent armor I was wearing. And like I had to go through them. So it was like an hour of throwing bombs, hiding, shooting arrows, throwing bombs, hiding, shooting arrows, running out of arrows, just throwing bombs, voiding conflict until I rush in and then die. Like, there was just a lot of that. And I feel like that could have maybe been handled a little better. Like I'm, like, I'm talking about the things that I think are not great about the game. This is a fucking great game. It's just, I feel like a lot of people say that this is like a perfect game, like it's the best game ever. I'm like, well, it's definitely a fucking good game, but it's not perfect. At least the early game isn't perfect. Maybe it becomes different later on. Like, it's supposed to be like, what, a fucking 60 hour game? And I'm like, I don't know, 10 hours in maybe? So yeah, another thing I'd have to say about this game is I mentioned during the cutscenes that I found they were a little weird. I still do, like... I don't know, the way the plot is, the pacing, the way they're kind of presenting it to you. Oh, by the way, guys, check out this fucking badass sword I have. Which is like the... Okay. Okay. Yeah, it sets shit on fire. <laughs> it just randomly found it. What? Hillian Rice? Okay. But, he, like... I don't know, the cutscenes, the plot, it doesn't really feel like it's breaking new ground. It's like, oh, a Zelda game. You're Link. You gotta save Zelda. Ganon's here. Like, he's bad. Calamity Ganon. Like, just the plot felt really kind of like, just by the numbers. Like, it's not, oh, Octoroks, you guys aren't really worth the fucking tr- Ah, uh, fuck it. I'll, I'll try. 
Yeah. Yeah, boy. Like, the plot just felt really just by the numbers. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't feel like there was anything new or innovative. It just felt like super fucking cliche Zelda plot. And I don't know, I, I was I was just kind of hoping, I was just kind of expecting more out of this game in terms of plot. I'm sure it gets better, I'm, I'm sure, but just at this point it felt kind of just super by the book. And one of this game's strengths is that it, it's so different, like it's not like a Zelda game. It's not like any Zelda game I've ever played. It has elements, it has like the best elements from several Zelda games, but... I don't know, I would have thought a game that this that is this groundbreaking would kind of try and also have like an interesting plot. But I don't feel like so far they've really broken any new ground or presented the plot in like an innovative way. So that is that's a little dig I'd have to say on them. I feel like that's not a it's not a huge thing, but it's just kind of it's the kind of thing where I hope it, I hope it gets better later on. I hope there's like different stuff later on because at, at the moment the plot has really not really lived up to all the hype. And the the other thing is something that's been like an ongoing thing that you've probably noticed me complain about while playing this is I find that the fucking weapons, man. The name's Telly. I'm a bit of a treasure hunter. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't, I don't, I don't want to. No thanks. No, I'm good. This is just a traveling merchant. All right, bye, bye, bye. Um, the fucking weapons breaking every two hits is just, like, not cool. Like, okay, I get it that these are not supposed... Oh, I think there's a shrine. Oh, okay, I gotta turn off my beeper soon, too, eh? I get it that these are not weapons that are supposed to last you the entire game. Like, they're fucking entry-level weapons, right? Oh, the Great Flame Blade is damaged. Fucking... See what I mean? And they're... To the best of my knowledge, there's no way to repair them either. Like... I would love to repair this Flame Blade so that I can keep using it. But it's... It's damaged now, which means in three hits, it'll be gone. Didn't even take three. Like... And... I get... Like I was saying, I get that, like, they don't want you to just be... That these are low-level weapons. I'm sure later on in the game... I'll get weapons that last fucking- I gotta- I gotta turn off the fucking beeper right now, don't I? Like, I get that these are low-level weapons, they're not meant to last you a fucking long-ass time. But, like, they should still last fucking more than, like, three hits, you know what I mean? Like, look, I just got this club, I'm sure by the end of this fight, it'll be damaged. And it's like, that's- Okay, you- see? It's not even gonna last through this bot, through this enemy. It's like, okay, I get it, it's a shitty- low-level weapon, but like, why, why does it break immediately? Wow. Okay, my frame rate on my capture apparently just dropped down to like less than 10 FPS. That's... And the spear broke. Like, okay. It's just, it's not... There's a better way to like integrate... Oh wow, I might die. I don't want to fucking eat in the middle of this battle. There's a better way to have like low-level weapons than to just make it so that they just constantly break. Like Skyrim Oblivion, the weapons were just shit. They just didn't do a lot of damage. That was that was the low-level aspect of it. But they didn't fucking break every 10 seconds. Okay, I have to eat. Like, I don't, I don't understand why that was their go-to, was like, let's just make all the weapons fucking snap. Like, why wasn't, why wasn't there like a better way to implement low-level weapons? Why are these guys so fucking tough, too? Jesus. Oh, maybe, am I using like a shitty, I'm using a traveler sword, that's, that's why these guys are so tough. So yeah, guys, despite all like the, the harping on, I'm going on about like the things that aren't great in this game, this is a fun game. It's super unique, it's a really interesting, yikes, help. It's a really, really interesting, okay, I gotta save these people. It's a really interesting open world game. It, these are the two people I keep fucking meeting and saving, aren't they? It's not like any... It doesn't really feel like many open world games I've played, but it doesn't really feel like a Zelda game. Like, it kind of feels like if you took Link out of it and put a different protagonist in, you could still pretty much have the same game. So I'm, I'm sure maybe that'll change later. Is this... Megan? Oh, 
No, this is a new person. Oh, Electro Prime Meat Curry. That's a fucking mouth mouthful. So yeah, I, I've been harping on this episode. I was talking about like the things that weren't great about this game, and the reason is just I feel like everybody is just like bowing down before this thing. It's just like a perfect game, and it's like, no, it's it's a really good game that's super unique, and there's nothing else quite like it. But it's not perfect, at least at this point. In the game it's not perfect and I'm definitely not like super deep into it but I've done enough that it's like I've got a feel for the game at this point you know what I mean so it's got so much going for it so don't think like I don't like this game if you've watched any of my old episodes you know that I actually fucking love this game but I just I want to give you guys a real a clear picture of what this game is good and bad and it's not without the bad so uh, this guy looks like he wants to fight so yeah, guys, that's going to be where I end this episode. Um, hopefully this will be a normal length episode. The next one, I'm right at Hadano Village. I'll explore it. Maybe I'll complete a shrine, do some other stuff. So we'll get a lot of stuff done. But yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think. What do you think? If you watch this episode, what do you think are this game's strengths and also its weaknesses? And do you feel that it deserves all the praise it's getting? Like... Is there something I'm missing or something I'm only going to discover later on? Let me know. I'm really curious. But again, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, I will see you in the next video. My name is Rob Mar, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, uh, shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. So, a lot... Probably the first, um, how can I say, new game I've seen kind of... This this is the best game ever. You guys are gonna love this shit. Oh,